So I don't know about you guys, but I love adding data into Notion. And that's all fine and dandy, but at some point you look at your Notion and go like, where did this go from that lean system that I started with to the mess that I've got now? And what do I do about it? Why is that a problem? I mean, it doesn't take up any space, does it? But you'd be wrong because once you start adding information, it becomes harder and harder to find the information that you need. And we all know that a system like Notion isn't just about what you put in, it's also what you get out. And if you wait long enough, it just starts piling up and becomes a place to store things for later. And later never happens. You know that, I know that. So what can we do about it? Now, depending on how long you've been waiting, you might need to prepare for a fair bit of cleaning. And that's okay. It's of course better to have a system before things start piling up. And I usually use my weekly review for that. Unfortunately, I've been a bit busy and it kind of shows. So, now to keep your house clean, you have something like this which is a trash can system. And then the question becomes, how do you add a system like this into Notion? Right, so the simplest method to get rid of pages is to just delete them. And Notion has its own trash can system that you can find in multiple places. And that will show you all the pages you've got removed. So you can use that as a fallback to get things back. I did notice, however, that the cache sometimes lags behind the actual reality. But let's say you don't feel comfortable with that. Or you can always create your own trash can system by creating a quick table, call it expunge and adding a little icon to it. And finally, we add a column last modified using the last added at the time. And this allows me to see what has changed and how stale these things are. A quick sort on that. And then you can add stuff to it by simply dragging them to the page and dropping it there. Using the system is pretty easy. If you touch anything, move it out of that, you know, to expunge list and to a spot where you frequently use it. And if you haven't touched it, then once in a while, just filter on anything that hasn't been modified in the last three months and chuck it on scene. Don't go through it. We all know how that goes. You'll look at it and find some excuse to keep it around. Sever those emotional attachments chuck it away. So now you have some way to get rid of stuff, but that still leaves a lot of stuff you need to put somewhere. And the best way to solve that is to have some kind of system, because that way you know what to put in its place and be able to find it back. Now in this video, I'm not going to talk systems. I already did one. I'm going to put a slide up there for one of my project management systems but we're more talking general guidelines and tips so for example if you're trying to store anything you're always asking yourself is it the system or is it one trying to store it well this this won't work so the question then becomes what does work so solutions well, to start with, try to avoid having too many databases. It's a lot easier to filter for the right data than to find out that one Notion page you're missing somewhere in your system of Notion sub 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 pages. Simplicity is key on keeping your Notion clean. It makes it easier to know where to put stuff and also easier where to find stuff. And one of the things that you can do is when you look at creating a table is to wonder if this is a structure table or database or a one-off system that you need. Now, what is the difference? A structure is anything that you use over the long term. Things are like my logbooks, my contacts. Those are things that have a fixed structure and I constantly add things to that and I constantly look up things in that. 
if we're talking one-off, for example, my bike needed repairs last week and we made a quick one-off database to keep track of all the parts that I needed to order, if they were ordered, if I got them. And now that I'm done, I'm basically gonna archive that as a reference when I ever need to fix it again, but it's not something that I constantly need to access. Now you want to avoid busy work. And what do I mean with busy work? That's stuff that you have to move things from A to B by hand to keep the system going. And for that, you need to keep the limitations that Notion has in mind. You can't really make buttons or automated processes to move things through a system. But what you can do is try and create formulas and filters to do the same thing. And basically, instead of moving it from A to B, move it from filter A to filter B. And to do so, let's dive into a small example that I use for that called flashcards. Now, one example I have is that in my day start, I have a simple flashcard setup. And what it does is that inside it, you have a calculation that's over here. And it basically just sees like, if every checkbox that is checked, it gets a number and gets like a total from it. So there's two boxes checked. It could be three, could be four. And then I use that on this side with a quick filter that says like, depending on the number it is, and then combining that with the last change date, it will disappear from my screen until I well, hit the threshold and it comes back. So I'm not moving things around. All I need to do is just check or uncheck a box and that makes the system work for me. Now, another place where I had this is in my logbook. I used to have meeting notes, logbook entries, and an inbox database. And I started to notice that I was dragging stuff from inbox to logbook entries, and logbook entries very often turn into impromptu meeting notes. So I tried to simplify it by just moving everything into logbooks. And I can add stuff to it by simply going to my quick add here. And then in this case, I'm gonna pick data point, which is part of my work, because I wanna use that as an example. And this is a daily stand-up example. And what happens if it's for a daily stand-up, I click a template and that sets a tag and it's not processed. Now, if it has the tag and it isn't processed, I have this dashboard here, which I always pop up when there's a daily stand-up. So here it says like, the things that I want to get done for that stand up, the ritual for every day. And on the side, you can see the page that I just made. So I don't have to think or move it around. And then if I mention it during the daily stand up and it gets resolved, all I need to do is tap that one, it's get hidden, but it's still archived. So this really simplifies me keeping track of meeting notes, log entries, or anything that I just need to pop up at the right moment. Be sure to check out one of my other videos over here. If you thought this was enjoyable, then be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It all helps me to be exposed to more people and grow my channel. And remember, you're awesome. Keep it up.